Motor Week is made possible by TireRack.com, State Farm, and WeatherTech. So you have a car that has a tire pressure monitoring system on it, or TPMS as we refer to them, and you think you can take your trusty tire pressure gauge and toss it in the trash. Not so. See, TPMS only warns you if a tire is dangerously low on pressure. It doesn't tell you the ideal pressure in most cases. So the only way to make sure that you get proper tire life and gas mileage and all the things that go along with tire pressure, you need to check manually at least once a month. All right, a couple things about tire pressure monitoring systems. There are a couple of types. One is indirect reading, and it reads off of the wheel speed sensors for the ABS system. Uh, they're okay. The others are direct reading systems, and they have a sensor in each wheel that tells the car's computer the pressure inside each one of those tires. And within those direct reading systems, there are two types. One is right here. This is held on by this giant clamp that goes all the way around the inside of the wheel. Not all that popular. The others replace the valve stem, the sensors inside the wheel. The valve stem is out so that you can check tire pressure and add and uh, delete as needed. Now some of the things that we see with these well, we see lots of weird things where people hit curbs and stuff like that, or technicians that don't realize that they're dealing with a TPMS sensor and yank it right out of the sensor and stuff like that, really weird stuff. You have to use a little common sense with these things. But one of the more frequent things that we see is people that want uh, decorative valve stem caps. And they go out and they buy this gorgeous set of metal caps. They put it onto the stem, and a little while later, they go to take it off, and the whole end of this valve stem just falls off, turns to dust. And that's because of electrolysis. So there's two things. Number one, don't use metal caps on these aluminum valve stems. Use plastic caps. Number two, use dielectric grease to grease whatever cap you put on there to help prevent corrosion and make it so it'll come off easily. So even though it's a passive system, there's still some things that you need to do in order to keep yourself safe. And if you have a question or a comment, drop me a line right here at MotorWeek.